In some previous videos regarding memory timing tests, some people were asking in the comment what performance gains can be expected when tuning your memory timings against the default XMP or Expo profile in competitive games. These gamers are usually chasing for high frame rates by using low graphic settings to gain a competitive advantage and lower the overall system latency. Today I'm gonna show if there are any performance gains for these types of games when tightening the timings. I'm gonna check this in only a handful of games, but I believe this will apply to most. To know the system configuration, check the description below and while you're there consider subscribing to the channel to help it grow. The competitive games that I'm gonna check are the following. Fortnite using DirectX 11, The Finals, Counter-Strike 2, Warzone 2023 and Overwatch all at 1080p and 1440p using custom low settings. The conclusion drawn from these tests apply only to AMD CPUs as these are more sensitive to memory timings. Intel CPUs tend to benefit more from higher frequency but I don't have an Intel system to back that up. Next, I'm gonna show the BIOS settings used. Make sure to pause the video if you are interested when it comes to primary timings. I'm using these memory tune settings on a daily basis and these settings will be pitted against the default XMP profile. I'm using the latest BIOS version and 6400s works without an issue and to be frank I didn't have issues with other versions as well. These are the graphics settings used for testing in Fortnite. The tests were done using a replay for both resolutions. First 1080p where the memory's default XMP profile delivers better performance with averages of 341.8 and 1% lows of 196.3 while tuned delivered averages of 337.2 with 1% lows of 195.6. Moving on to 1440p the performance difference disappears and we see both configurations with averages around 235 frames and 1% lows of 162.6 for the XMP profile and 159.7 for the tuned one. The results displayed on the side-by-side -side comparisons are the averages from three runs. I tested the finals, a game recently released using these settings in the practice range and averaged the three runs results. At 1080p, the tuned configuration delivers better performance with averages of 368.1 and 1% lows of 264.8 while the XMP profile managed 344.4 and 246.9. Lower tuned speed wins against higher speed. At 1440p after 3 runs the memory configurations deliver similar performance with averages around 324 and 1% lows of 245. Counter Strike 2 has improved graphics compared to the previous one and to be honest I'm not sure which configuration is better as both deliver similar performance at 1080p. The XMP profile managed averages of 524.1 frames while the tuned one 522.9. The 15 frames 1% low difference may be attributed to the fighting scenes as the bots engaged in combat differently in every benchmark attempt. Moving on to 1440p, there is no difference in performance averaging at 418 frames and the 1% lows difference is mostly because what was previously mentioned regarding the, the combat engagements. These are the graphic settings used for testing both resolutions in Warzone 2023. As in the previous games, the averages from free runs will be displayed in the side-by-side -side comparison. Looking at the 1080p results, the tuned profile with a lower memory speed has an advantage over the XMP profile with averages of 334.6 and 1% lows of 192 compared to 329.4 and 185.8. A small performance uplift when tightening the timings. When looking at the 1440p results, the performance difference is still there, with the tuned profile managing averages of 294.9 and 1% lows of 194.5, while the default XMP profile with higher speeds manages averages of 285.4 and 1% lows of 169.8. When it comes to Overwatch 2, using these graphics settings, I hit the 600 FPS limit wall at 1440p, so no 1080p result. I did free runs in the training section, but we can see that the 1% lows are better for the tuned profile. I suspect that tuned memories do better than higher clocked ones. Let me know in the comments below if there is a way to remove the FPS limiter, as I'm not sure how to do that. 
the performance difference that I showed in previous games doesn't materialize in single player games at 1440p when using max settings and the game has high averages like Horizon Zero Dawn even with TLSS enabled. I tested different memory configurations using this CPU in the video linked in the top right corner, so I recommend you check it out if you are more interested in graphics intensive games. So what is the conclusion? Well, at 1080p, in most competitive games, the tuned memory configuration delivers better performance than the default XMP profile that the kit comes with. Sometimes, this performance uplift is available at 1440p as well. To access this performance uplift, you need to use low settings, have a good CPU, as competitive games are designed with high frame rates in mind, and to run on lower end hardware. Most single player games are designed with high visuals in mind and playing with the memory timings will not translate to performance gains in these scenarios. If you fancy single player games, as you can see on the screen, your best bet is the default XMP or Expo profile and be done with it. But if you enjoy tweaking your system to squeeze every drop of performance from it, memory tuning is something to consider as there is some to be unlocked in the pursuit to achieve higher frame rates. Now, messing with memory timings is no easy task, as it requires time to invest in stability tests and to be sure that everything works flawlessly. Make sure to test properly as it can lead to system instability. If you liked the video and found it useful, hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel to help it grow. Take care and hope to see you in the next one.